The tree we're looking at here is in the family Fabaceae. It's in the genus Gladitsia, and the specific epithet is Triacanthos. Gladitsia triacanthos is the full species name. Its common name is honey locust, and honey locust would be either one word or there's a hyphen between honey and locust. This is not a true locust, in other words. The name triacanthos refers to the fact that it might have three, a, a thorn that has three distinct points to it. Thorns can arise directly from the trunk or larger branches and can be extremely numerous. The thorns can be quite long, very stiff, very sharp. Many of the trees that are planted in urban environments are thornless variety. Looking at the bark, you can see that it has these long plates that come down in vertical strips. They're fairly stiff and sometimes they can recurve off of the actual trunk like we see here. Just a little bit of recurve as it's coming off. As you move up into the canopy, that texture holds. The very youngest branches will have an almost metallic coloring and be smooth with prominent lenticels. Here you can see some of that bark again sort of pushing away from the branch. The buds and leaves are alternately arranged and unlike many of the this plants that we've looked at, the bud is not readily obvious. The bud on honey locust is sunken into the twig itself and is difficult to see. If we look here at where the leaf arises from the twig, we can see that this whole structure is the leaf. And let's take a closer look at that. This entire structure from here to here is the leaf. This is what's known as bipinnately compound. We have a central rachis and then off of that we have smaller sections that contain the actual leaflets. So each leaf blade here is actually a leaflet and the entire structure, this entire structure is one complete leaf. Honey locusts can also have singly pinnately compound leaves, so not all of the leaves will be bipinnately compound. Here you can see what the leaves look like directly on a twig. It produces a fairly nice dappled shade that allows for things to grow underneath. Looking up into the canopy, you can see how the light is able to come through relatively easy. Looking closer at the twig, you can see a zigzag appearance, and that's due to a lack of a terminal bud or a true terminal bud at the end of the twig. So the growing portion comes out at different angles each time the branch elongates. These little sort of knuckles or elbows right here are where the foliage would arise from. It's not uncommon to have multiple leaves arise from that single point, but we still refer to this as alternately arranged. Against the sky, you can see what twigs or branches look like when all of their leaves have fallen off. This is what the twigs or branches would look like in the winter. To give a sense of the form and structure of the honey locusts, you can see here the trunk becomes decurrent, generally fairly low without some pruning or maintenance, and so there ceases to be a single trunk, and you might get lots of branches coming low and thick, giving a nice broad crown. Here's the honey locust from a little bit further back so you get a fuller sense of what the tree might look like in the landscape.